Um, I'm Brian Wanstrad, a captain in the Fayetteville Fire Marshal's office. We're here this morning to show you uh, what could happen if your dried out Christmas tree would, were to catch on fire inside of your house. In the previous video, uh, we were out at a tree farm and the owners out there talked about uh, some things you can do to keep your Christmas tree alive for a little bit longer. Uh, we'd like you to, to water that Christmas tree at least daily and uh, when you put that Christmas tree up in your house, make sure you keep it away from any type of heat source. So in this video here, we've got a, a tree that we've had drying out for about two weeks and kind of have it set up like a, a typical living room would look. Um, some stats on some fires in the United States. Uh, through 2014 to 2018, there were about 160 uh, house fires that were caused by Christmas trees. 42% of those fires were caused by some sort of electrical issue or electrical lighting. 22% uh, of those fires were from candles. And another interesting fact, about 21 house fires per day occur due to, uh, to uh, candles. So once you put your Christmas tree up away from heat sources, make sure you don't decorate with any holiday candles too close to that Christmas tree. Because as you'll see in this video, a Christmas tree can light up in probably less than 10 seconds is going to be my guess. And uh, once you get past that 10 second mark, that's kind of the point of no return. So uh, without further ado, we'll go ahead and light this Christmas tree on fire so you guys can see what could, could happen inside of your living room. back here after we lit that Christmas tree on fire as you can see it was a, a pretty impressive video there so what we can take away from that video is after about 30 seconds uh, there's no way a homeowner could put that tree out there's absolutely no way you would, you would have enough water to put that that tree out so some important takeaways from this video is one as you can hear in the video we had a smoke detector alerting so we would want to make sure your home smoke detectors are operational that's something you should check uh, at least twice a year we usually tell people when the time changes uh, to change the smoke detector batteries. Another thing is once you get out, stay out. Especially around Christmas time, some kids may be running down the steps out of the front door past the Christmas tree on fire and they see uh, some presents there, some toys, and they get worried and they want to grab those toys before they get out. Or they do make it out and remember that their toys or, or pets are still inside and they want to go back in. So make sure you hammer home to your kids that once they're outside they stay outside. Another good idea is to have a family meeting place outside so when you guys practice your at-home fire drills you can meet by the front mailbox by the street or the neighbor's front porch, a tree in the front yard, but make sure all your, your kids know where you want them to meet if they make it out of the house. So uh, with that I think we'll wrap up our video. Um, if you had any questions about this or uh, any other questions about fire prevention or, or stuff you'd like to talk to your kids about, you can give the Fayetteville Fire Department a call or the Fayetteville Fire Marshal's office.